And make sure yeah. you record to the cloud. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome everyone to Firebirds Collective presents a Pathways Guided Tour. Before we start, I'd like to remind you, mute or turn off your cell phone. Remember to mute your microphone when you're not talking and turn it back on when you want to speak. If you want to raise your hand electronically, you may do so at the bottom of the participants window. This session will be recorded for educational purposes we might use video clips and screen captures for PR. If you do not wish to be recorded, turn your camera off, but we would like to see you. Fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, help me welcome Firebirds Collective, Vice President of Education, Pathways Guide for Undistricted Area O, the fabulous Fabiola Cleofa, live from Curacao, presenting Choose a path, Fabiola Cleopa. Thank you so much, uh, Arlene, for being here, even though you are in that um, moment now that it's not so nice. But our paths, they will cross in different ways, and we finally are looking at getting onto pathways in the undisputed clubs also. And that part is one of the things that we need to be prepared for. Usually when we go on a path to seek, we will take our compasses, our maps, and everything. So for us, going on to pathways, which is a complete different uh, educational system, but it gives us a lot of a more uh, in-depth experience to work on our development. And today, we are going to have a panel of experience, our new Toastmasters, and a range of experiences to share with us how we can make better um, profit of the new pathways. First of all, I want to start with one of the Firebirds Collective members that started in Pathways way ahead of us was impatient to start because it seemed like Pathways would be that big of a great revolution. So this member started off one year ago into Pathways <clears throat> and yes, influenced a lot of us in Firebirds to also venture out there and look for paths how we can also get into pathways. And today, she will share with us all of her experiences, but most of us, most of all, help us to get on with our path that we will be going to choose. So let's welcome Julie, all the way from London. Julie, the floor is yours. Thank you, wonderful. I am very happy to be with you. It seems that patience is a virtue that I don't have. And that is why I started a year ago and had some experience which I can now share. So they were always useful. Let me begin by sharing my screen. and put somewhere my picture. Can you see me and the slide? Yeah. Yes, okay. So first of all, welcome to London. That is my path, that is my street. And if you go on this path, you arrive where I met Philip who was the first president of the club, I am still there. And when you go this way, you go into my home. What it has to do with anything? This is a straight path. But I think most of you know already, if not, I wanted to share with you again. Then there are 10 paths and you can choose between them. At the beginning, 
you have to choose even before entering that is called now base camp from where everything starts i have already six of these paths four i finished and two i continue doing every pass and that presentation mastery example but every path has five levels and i just repeat it very fast mastering fundamentals and learning style are both almost the same in every path doesn't matter which you choose then comes increasing your knowledge building skills and demonstrating expertise each of them having a different what they call required which you cannot choose you choose the path and then you get the required one. in this case in presentation mastery is prepared to and speak a 15 20 minute speech so today we will speak about how to select the path from the beginning i have to tell you do not do as i did a year ago do as i tell you now not like i didn't know so first of all you have on Basecamp every language which is but on the printed material you have only five and on non-english you have only two the two are the presentation mastery and the leadership development if you go to a program which is called navigator which has all about meetings and clubs and is very good for all newcomers they tell you that elective projects available all in Basecamp but limited in printed material that would be good but it is not true it is not limited it is zero so when you are asked select online pass or select printed pass and they point here take your assessment they have a right to tell it because i did fall into the pothole i didn't have a printer and i did buy a printed pass i wouldn't do it again i will explain you why so here is an example and you should try to find this there are 10 examples for the 10 paths that is leadership development and in white here in this part are all the projects which are called required you cannot choose them you have these two general and then one two three here that depends on the path you have chosen in leadership development they are planning a meeting a special meeting leading your team to a special meeting again i did it so i can tell you what is behind the title and then manage a successful event a bigger one of course every path begins with icebreaker and finish with reflect on your path this is not different so going nearer and that is not very nice but it gives you example so these three are special to every path and then you have what is called elective you have to choose four of them two here at level three one 
each at level 4 and 5 from a maximum of 27. Understand, you can do all 27 if you want. No one can forbid you. It just doesn't count like number. But you can open them, print them, save them, do whatever you want with all those wonderful electives. If you have a printer pass, you cannot choose anything. So, what you choose, here is a picture from Carol Macro blog, which I copied this her okay. And how important it is to have a mentor who explains what it is the end of each pass. The end of three pass are high performance leadership. In effective coaching, innovative planning and persuasive influence. The end of other three pass are six months leading a team or being in a team a leader. And those are dynamic leadership, team collaboration, and strategic relationship. And the end of other four paths are very different. In presentation mastery, a longer presentation. In visionary communication, develop your vision. In leadership development, make, create a successful bigger event. And in motivation strategy, which I just begin, team building through an event again. So, when you really choose a path, you have to think very seriously which one you want to choose. How did I choose? So, before showing you how you go and choose a path practically, I would like to tell you where is my time, how I am in timing. So now is uh, 8 minutes and 30 seconds. So I did not know very well what I want. I made, first of all, supposition on the cover. Don't judge by the cover. It means don't choose after the title. And secondly, I did not really know what I wanted. And I thought, I don't want leadership. I want to learn speaking better. And that was not true either, because they are so combined now in every past leadership with uh, communication that you don't know exactly. And the title like leadership development, it didn't develop my leadership. It helped me to create interesting events. So I had to develop more insight to understand. And in order to understand, we have uh, George Marshall uh, hypertext, paths and projects which we can study if we want. We have also some who made a six-page explanation and other who made only four, uh, like Carol or others, four lines, just the end, which project, how it ends. So, can I show very fast how to choose a pass on uh, Toastmaster International? Fabiola, thank you. Once you study and you know what you want to do, you go to, to log in to the pathway. And that is something you, someone else will explain in detail, so I not go there. And between the three styles, you have choose a path. And first thing you ask, they ask you what language. The 
language you choose here will be the language of the past also. And then ask you to click on three topics. So think a lot before you click here, because after you click here, it depends all the other questions come after that. And at the end of all the answer you give, fast, because how long can you stay thinking about an answer with a computer there? You have three paths proposed to you. In this case, the dynamic leadership, the only one I would choose, and other time, I choose visionary communication. But if you want, you can go under the here. Yes, no. Okay, you can go under and you can choose whatever path you want. So here are my four paths, which I begin visionary communication I finished in August. The presentation mastery which I begin printed and then I bought another one. I bought at the same time I finished only in November. The leadership development I got in August and in December it was finished and it was a wondrous part. And the effective coaching I just finished. So question and answers, if you want to ask me, I am open. Okay, we have two, two to three minutes to, um, for questions to Julie. Anyone that um, has a question? I do have a question, Julie. The, you mentioned that only two of them are in um, other languages. Those are all the eight languages that um, we have um, at this moment. No? No. Uh, all the 10 paths are in all the languages you have, unless you want it printed. Ah, okay, got it. But uh, only less than half percent both printed paths, because if you do it, the VP has three times as much work, and you don't have choice. So, it is better than to ask a friend to print for you and they will print you what you want, not what is supposed to be there. Okay, got it. Yes, Kelly. Hi, Hi Julia, uh, thank you. I have two questions. First is, uh, we can choose two paths or more paths at the same time and we could do it at the same time or we need to choose one path at one time. Uh, second question is, I took the assessment already. I chose uh, team collaboration as my path, first path, but I don't know how I can find the material. Like when I go to the base camp, uh, they require me to take the assessment again, continue to choose so path. That is something someone else will tell. If not, I will come back to it. Okay. But I can tell you about the first question because you asked two questions. The first question, if you can choose more than one pass, yes. A year ago, I was naive. I be, believed that every club I join, I have to buy a new pass. So I had three pass, three clubs, and I mm. did three icebreakers. I did not know you can give again and again from the same pass an icebreaker. And uh, then I learned when I am about uh, at level three from five, I buy always a new pass and I begin a new pass. And then I have in different levels, not parallel icebreaker, icebreaker, um, feedback, feedback, but a different level. Some are very long, take very long and others very short. So. Yes, you can do more than one pass, even more right. than two. Okay. But you have to buy. One you get free, 
Yeah. And if you have two clubs, you have two free. But if not, you have to pay $20 more. Okay. I see. Thank you. Um. Okay, yes. so our time is up. Um, and at the end, if we do have more time, we will go on to um, more questions. If you still have some. Our next uh, presenter is Bertie. Bertie just uh, did her icebreaker. She is uh, already on Pathways. And the question came, where do I find my material? I want to do my icebreaker. Where do I go? So let's take it from Bertie that she will take us through that part. Bertie? Hi everyone, let me share my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, so this is an example of a pathway of I chose an example. So let's say that I choose innovative planning so when you go here, you will see that there are five levels, as mentioned before by Julie, that every path has five levels. So in the first level, there are four things here. And the first one is an icebreaker. So what I will do, I can just click launch. And after I click launch, here, a new window will come up but I will show you how to do it on the Toastmasters website. So I'll just click stop share and share screen again here. Okay, so now I'm on the Toastmasters website. Okay, can you now see my screen? Okay, so you remember the slide that I showed you before? Once I'm in the right pathway, then I click launch. One of my challenges to start this pathway was to find the right button because I clicked so many other buttons like the transcript, the education transcript, and I clicked the project, but it always brought me back to the previous one. So it was frustrating. So it's really important that you really click the right button so when you go into your pathway, the path that you chose, just click launch. Don't click other buttons. Of course, you can try to click other buttons, but it will just bring you to the same thing. So click launch and then wait for a few seconds. This new window will come up. Uh, when I started, I was impatient. It took a while to, for this, like, to wait for this window to come up. So in the end, I had to open so many things. So it was a mistake. So when you click launch, just wait for a few seconds, then this new window will come up. As you can see here, um, that there are, uh, there's like many things here, navigation, introduction, and your assignment. So this is the list of the things about the project. I will suggest you to just go through the list, or even you can just click the next arrow here. So it will show you on how to like navigate the project here. And this is like the project checklist. And every time you want to start a project, you need to sort of assess your skills before. So you have to choose uh, yourself first. I am confident and calm when speaking in front of groups, for example, and just click next. Here you can find a list of competencies that you will learn when you do this project. For example, define communication and leadership goals. Then you can click the next arrow. You will watch a video here. This is very good. I think if you click this, so a video will come up and you can listen to different people. You can listen to different people delivering their icebreakers. So I would suggest you to watch this video because they're really, really good. And click the next arrow again. You will see 
the icebreaker speech outline worksheet. So you can just download this too. If you click next, you will see what is expected from your first icebreaker. For example, you're expected to have an interesting topic as well as a good structure with the opening body and conclusion. If you click next, this is how you're expected to like do the icebreaker. You can write it out, remember your outline and connect with the audience. And just follow through the guidance, just click next and next. This is like some examples on how to rehearse your presentation. Some things that you can uh, think of, for example, the timing, the pacing, the structure or organization of your speech, the review, and also moment to moment. If you click next again, you can see the guidance on how to do the presentation how to relax, breathe, and just enjoy your presentation. And this is the evaluation part. You also need to evaluate yourself after the presentation. What do you think about yourself? So this is more like self-assessment. And this is the section where you think about how you can improve yourself better and how you really implement the strategies that you are given by your evaluator. And this one is the project checklist. This one, the evaluation part, is I think the most important part. So this is where you find like the evaluation, like in our traditional manual. If you click this one, a new window will come up and you will see how you will be evaluated. If you click print my project, uh, this a new window will come up and it will consist about 23 pages of everything that is listed from the beginning, navigation, introduction, excluding the video. And if you click the icebreaker speech outline worksheet, you will see uh, the outline, what you have to do for your speech. So I think the resources part for the evaluation is the most important part. You can't miss this. And this one, after you deliver your speech, you need to go back to Toastmasters website and do a self-assessment. So click before, uh, what do you think after you deliver your speech? Do you feel that you're more confident and calm when speaking in front of groups? And then well, well, once you have finished the self assessment, then you finish the whole project. And after that, I'll just, how long do I have uh, still? I'll just stop share here. So now is uh, six minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, you have 10 minutes to go. So you still have like three minutes. Uh, four minutes, four more minutes, yeah. Okay, so if I go back here, so basically if I go back to the Toastmasters website, just to share. Anyway, basically after I delivered my first speech, I get evaluated and I can, I can just do my self-assessment again online, what I think after I delivered my speech. And because this is an online club, I asked my evaluator, which, uh, Roberto, to email me the evaluation form. So then after that, I could just attach this evaluation form into my pathway and it's located in the e-portfolio or someone can show you how to assess that one. But I think it's, I think for me now I have done it so it's okay now but the most important thing is to just find I think the right button to click and once you have found it you become more familiar with it, it will be easier. Any questions? Yes, before we go on I'll just because it did go through it, I want to point out and um, 
connect what Julie just said about printed material or online. Here you have seen that even though you are online, you can print those parts that you need. And so you can go through it. One other thing also that Bertie highlighted by doing the assessment before and doing the assessment after. Those are things also that is part of how you go from one level to the other, but that will come back um, later on. Are there any other questions? Kelly, did you get your, um, the view now where you have to go to get um, your projects? Yeah, um, I, I, I will check it according to uh, the guidance from Bertie, but I do have one question. It's about the evaluation resources. Is it like, because I'm going, I, I, I attended a club here, so uh, I need to print out uh, the evaluation form to my evaluator in the meeting, and then after uh, my evaluator finish, uh, they should upload the field form online, and so like I could use it as a proof to like finish my speech. Is it correct? Okay, uh, Bertie, do you have that or can I take, do you want to take yeah. it Yeah, um, what happened is that I think after you have your evaluation form filled in by your evaluator, you can just upload it yourself in your uh, pathway because if you click on your pathway and you click the education transcript, on the top level, there is like a tab called e-portfolio and the e-portfolio is the place where you put all the files or the documents for example your evaluations so you click there there is like different like there are different levels if you just click folder one for example that's for level one so you can click your evaluation form and just attach it there so you basically have that as like the location for all your evaluation forms Great. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Additionally, that indeed is your personal profile and all your evaluations, you can store that. But your first part of your question was, when I am doing a project, do I have to um, download my um, evaluation and give it to my um, evaluator? Here in Fibers Collective, we are not on pathways yet. So it's very important for you before the uh, meeting, to get your evaluations to your um, evaluator. The other thing, when all of us are on pathways, any person can go into their own base camp and um, there is a generic resources for evaluations. And if that person happened to be in the same path that you are doing, they can access that evaluation too. But okay. to be more, um, Proactive, it is always best to connect with your evaluator if you know who your evaluator is beforehand to give them your evaluation. All of the um, evaluation forms kind of look alike, but okay. it, it does have the pro, uh, objectives of each part that you are in, um, especially at level three and on. So it is best for you to provide your evaluation sheet to your evaluator. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, and in, in, you as, um, uh, in your base camp, you can ask also um, for other members in the club to give you additional info, um, evaluation, but it has to be the club that you are logged in at that moment. Later on, that will come back, but it's a little bit complicated. But in any case, you can get more evaluations than only your um, assigned evaluator in the club meeting. Any other question? Uh, can I have a question? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Um, for example, I am a member of two clubs. Let's say I have chosen two pathways. Can I... Um, so can I, for example, choose uh, any of those two pathways in two clubs? Or for example, can I just use one pathway in one club and the other pathway is always to that other club? No. Or is it in, in exchangeable? 
it is exchangeable. Presenting, you can present in any of the clubs. It's okay. When, it's when you are um, going to get your level approved, you have to be conscious which club you are signed in at that moment. And also, you need to um, be aware that if you ask um, other members to give you an evaluation, for instance, your pot, your, um, you are presenting in one pot in Firebirds Collective, but you're signed in with the other club yeah. in your base camp. If you ask members of Firebirds Collective to give you feedback, they will not find your name in their base camp. So that part you need to be clear on. Okay. But given presentation, whatever club, you can do that. And mm -hmm. that's why it's also important for you to provide your evaluation sheet to any evaluator that you're going to present to. Okay, how long, um, how are we doing on time? And do we have other questions? Oh, Oladale has a, a question. Oladale, go ahead. Thank you very much, Fabiola. Yes. Mine is, is a little contribution based on what Betty asked. It's just another addition. Betty, you're also at liberty to choose which club you allow to benefit whichever award you achieve. Can you hear me? Yes. You can choose all, all you do, the parts are yours. The awards you achieve are yours. So if you belong to more than one club, you can choose which club. In case a club is chasing DCP, or maybe they need a particular award, you can choose which of the awards you've achieved, which club you want to designate it to, just to help that club move. But all of your own awards and report, your evaluation and all that would be in your own database. And as Fabiola said, if you're waiting for a particular award to be given to you from international, the club you want to receive the award must be the club you click in your base camp when you're logging on. So that the notification of the award will go to the vice president education, who is the base camp manager for that club, and there is no confusion. I hope that stops. Fabiola, over to you. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Aladala. Indeed, that is um, one of the things that we need to take into consideration. But I think at the end, um, it will come back also in one um, in my presentation. For now, we are going to our next panelist. And our next panelist is Christian from Mauritius. And Christian is also a public guy for on uh, districted clubs. And Christian is going to take us to another part of the um, on our journey. So to enlighten us. Christian, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam VP. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? All excited to be on Pathways. Show me your excitement. Way! Oh my God, everyone just asleep. Uh, raise your hand, who here is completely new to Pathways? Who here has just been having, writing down questions and answers? Everyone new to Pathways, raise your hand. Ah, great. So I'm going to be able to help you people. And for those who are already on Pathways, I hope it's a refresher. Madam Timer, I've got my own timing device, so no need to worry about me. We've heard about how to get started with Pathways. We've heard about how to start our icebreaker and then as we start to work on our browser things don't turn out like we want them to do do they we often we often have something called an incompatibility issue with technical aspect of the laptop or the macbook i'm going to just share my screen and show you what i mean maybe just like me some of you are addicted to using chrome Google Chrome instead of using Mozilla or uh, Internet Explorer. What do you see right now? Uh, just let me know. Uh, give me a sign if you see my screen, because I've just shared it. Everyone seeing my screen? Great. So what we have right now is me accessing Pathways. I've already logged in via Google Chrome. And the recommendation is once we are logged in, we go to Pathways, 
We click on it, and then we go to Basecamp. We get to this window, and like a couple of members <laughs> have taken up before, bless you, my friend. Uh, like a couple of members have mentioned before, if we want to choose which club we're going to do um, our presentation at, we can come here and go and select the club. Right now, I have Emperor's Mandarin Toastmasters and Royal Road Toastmasters, which are the two clubs under pathways to which I'm a member of. So I click Royal Roads, I log in as a member, and if my internet connection speed allows me, I go to the next window, which you see is loading, and I get to this one. And here, it's actually prompting, prompting me to take a tool. And that's the first thing that uh, we should do. We have online pathways guide, we have the FAQ, but remember the take a tool option is always there. So I'm just going to close this and I, re I start it again. You have here on the right top side of your screen, this button, take a tool. And if you click it, you have tips that just pops down or pops up. Find resources and people just gives you an ex a, a description how to use the search bar. If I click next, what is navigating Basecamp about? I click next. My transcript, select to, ans to access your transcript. This is where you will find your path, the navigator and resources you have selected. If you haven't yet chosen your path, take the pathways assessment. I click next. My feedback, select to access your feedback page. Next. So my recommendation here, just take the time to take a tool and you can take it at least two times. I've taken it four times. I still look forward to taking it. Again, <clears throat> the next item here that I strictly recommend you to check, and that's why I use Google Chrome to access pathways a first time is check compatibility. You just take your cursor, put it on check, compa check compatibility. You have a drop down. Check compatibility in white, you click on it, and you go to this window. Question. We have eight items, operating system, browser, screen resolution, cookies, PDF reader, pop-up blockers, color def, and JavaScript. If, uh, if my browser was fully compatible with the Pathways platform, I should have a red uh, tick everywhere. Do I have eight red, eight, I mean, not a red tick, but a green tick, I apologize. I'm getting colorblind at this time of the evening. So do I see eight green ticks or there's one triangle with an exclamation mark somewhere? Anyone can help me? There's something here. Pop I've got, exactly, because I have so much traffic going through my Chrome browser that I had decided to put a month ago a pop-up blocker and I forgot about it. So I don't want to bring down my pop-up blocker in Chrome. I don't want to modify it only for Pathways to this master. What I've decided to do, I'm going to close my Chrome. I'm going to use Internet Explorer instead. And if I can go to my Internet Explorer, it's here. And here again, I come and I check compatibility. Uh, uh, by the way, I just check, I just tested. You can log in twice in two different browsers at the same time on the same device in Toastmasters International. That shouldn't be ha that shouldn't be happening. So that's a security issue with TI. It's something that should be taken up later on, but that's not the focus of this session. So I check compatibility. And here, it's fully compatible, like we'll see. It's coming up, hopefully. It's not coming up. So I'm going to close it. I'm going to come here again. I think I've got too many windows open. So I'm going to move on because uh, this is not highlighted completely. Ah, I know why, because I'm still on a tool in my Internet Explorer, I need to close this. So I check compatibility, come here, click. 
Great. And sections of my website are not available. It's amazing. Going back to Basecamp, I log in as a member in Royal Roads. Do the test again. Ah. And now it's fully compatible. Thank you, my lord. Eight green text. I can move on. The next thing I should do is always remember that I have the tutorials and resources options available just uh, next to check compati compatibility up there. So if I click on it, I get to this window where I can see if I scroll down and I incre increase the size. On the left here, I have tutorials, evaluation resources, project descriptions, resources, resource documents, navigator, FAQs, glossary, and manager of the base camp. So these are times that these are items that it would be good to have a look at whenever we're in need. Look up here instead of going to the VP or the base camp manager whenever we have a question, or even before going in online groups on Facebook. Uh, before I end this session, the crux of my presentation was to show you how to open the curriculum. I'm going to end with this. So at the bottom here, I've got navigating Basecamp, my education transcript, feedback, badges, and speech evaluations. I want to go here, my education transcript, to get access to the different paths and other items I have. Uh, so I clicked on it, and when I go down, I get those different items. If I just uh, take a leaf out of Bertie's uh, presentation, say I'm going to access the POF Effective Coaching. All I have to do is just go to Effective Coaching. That's the POF I have. I click Open Curriculum, and I get access to my POF, as well as the progress I've done so far. And I, and I have here the level one, level two have been completed, as you can see, level one, level two. I'm on level three right now. And at each level, you see the Different projects have been ticked. If I go to level three, this is what I have. I've done one project, I've got a couple of electives left, and that's it for me. Over to you, Madam Toastmaster. Thank you, Christian. Um, nicely done. Do we have any questions now? Okay. Um, oh, yes, Michelle, Michelle has one. Michelle? Um, uh, to go ahead. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. I am. Um, hi, Rish. I just, I just want to try it out. Maybe you can try it out when you have a chance. In Google settings, if you look for the pop-up blocker, you look for the, uh, the pop-up blocker, and there is a section where it says block and allow. And in the part of allow, if you, if you put the URL in, so https toastmasters.csod.com, that should let you have all your green ticks also. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for sharing that powerful tip. Um, yes. I forgot to mention that. Um, the reason I don't actually have uh, activated pop-up blocker on my Chrome is I use my Chrome for my business and for work purposes. So I've got a lot of size going on, so I block everything. Okay, no, but no, yes. but, yeah, but this one will this one would would just be like an exclusion for for pathways then, and the rest will will remain blocked. Uh, thank you. It, it would be great if you could just put post that in the chat if you have the time for other other people to just have the link and they can use it. Thank you so much for adding value. No mention. Bye. Any, Bye. Question, any other questions? Yes, Verdi. Can we change our path? For example, we have chosen one path and then we don't. It turns out that we don't like it. Is there a way to change it? And if yes, um, how? <laughs> Um, I think, uh, Fabiola, you can correct me if I'm mistaken. From the date you have registered on a POF, you have 30 days to change it? Yes. You have only 30 true. days. That's true. 
Yeah. Julie, you have any other comments on this? Additional 30 comments? Days, 30 days to ask. But I believe it is better to buy a new pass and you have two of them and can do both of them than wait for the change to happen. Because some waited more than a month to have their first change. So that's, that's a nice tip that Julia's giving because indeed, um, especially if you have gotten the first two uh, for free and um, you think you don't um, want to do this part, it's better to buy another one. Maybe later on you will come back to this one anyhow. So that is uh, the um, idea behind it to, um, if you don't want it, to either change it or buy a new one. So with Julie's experiences, um, she says, okay, at times um, it's best to just buy a new one. One, you will get it quicker because when doing all the administration to get a new one. And for buying a new one, you will get it as soon as <laughs> the payment is received. So, and you might be want to use it in the future anyhow. So, but it's your choice. Uh -huh. Bruce. <coughs> Fabio, look, excuse me, in some of my other clubs, I've got people who have only one pass and have found out that they've selected the wrong one. I've had great difficulty finding out how to actually change it. I mean, what, do you, what does one do to, to get it changed? Okay, um, you, have to, you have to call or, or write to supply orders. Call or write supply orders. Okay. Call Great. is faster, but not now when they are moving from uh, California to Colorado is not a good time. Yeah, that's true. And for Bertie, for example, uh, 20 March to 20 April, depending when she bought hers, uh, if the 30 days are gone, from when she chooses, she cannot uh, change it again. But you can change it once in a if you got inside the 30 days, you can ask the change. Great. Supply orders. Okay, great. Any other question? Okay. Um, we are at the hour. We are have we will going to go one hour and a half. So I will go through my part now, and if there is any more um, time, we can um, continue with question and answers. And for that, I am going to share my screen. Okay. And this last part is how um, submit awards, how we do that, how do we do that? When you complete a project, a level or awards or nine, who or what does what? The member will be completing their project as it has been shown very clearly by um, Verity and um, Christian. Whenever you complete a project, you mark it as completed and that part is your responsibility as a member. Uh, you by completing that you reopen another project to complete the level you have to do the complete assess skills after there's when you complete the um, the the level and at this point what will happen is that you need to be very clear in which club you are assigned to in base in base camp. Again, um, I'm member of two or more clubs, and I'm f doing my last uh, project in um, club, the other club. But I want the vice president education to um, uh, approve my level completion. By approving your level of completion, it will open the next level for you. 
So if you are asking the vice president education of one club, you need to be in that club, sign up, and also send an email to that VP education to let them know you have a request to approve a level completion. After that, you reopen your um, project in Basecamp. And um, no, if you have finished your, um, your assignment, it will take you to the last um, page where it says congratulations. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have completed your uh, project in Basecamp. You need to do the assess your skill after. And that's when you are really, really completed your task. Okay. Um, okay. So for the completion of the um, level, you need to be sure which club you are at. So this is um, how you see it. You can always go back and launch um, whatever um, level or project you finish to get the information but um, it will um, stay on launch, okay? And the activate one is the one that will um, help you to complete your level, as I mentioned before, okay? You will activate it and then you will, it will pop up mark complete, which all of them, that is how it will um, come up. And after marking complete, you can are, you are certain that that is when you have completed that part. Okay. So notify your vice president education and the vice president education of all the clubs, the president and the secretary, they have access to the base camp and they are the ones that will approve your um, level in order for you to go on to the next level. But project completion is you can advance through the levels, um, through the project in one particular level. When to, insert, to ensure in which club you are, you will find it here in your um, uh, transcript. Um, before you go into your um, um, path, you will select the club. You will have the pull down here that will give you all the clubs that you are in. So always be sure to be selected the club that you will need your vice president education to um, approve your, your um, level because they will only be able to see it in their base camp management um, if you are logged in in that particular club. The base camp manager, um, which is the vice president education, the um, secretary or the president will get this view. They will get pending requests. So they will go in here and look for your name and approve your level. For them also, this is where they can see your progress. And naturally, they have tutorials. For us in Fireworks Collective, these are two separate things in the sense that Easy Speak will mark all your presentations. And also, if you do a presentation outside of a Fireworks Collective, you can always um, let us as VP Education know so we can complete your listing of, club, of uh, projects outside of the club in the Easy Speak for us to look at. So you can um, follow your progress in your base camp, but also in Easy Speak if you have um, um, feed us with all the projects that you have done outside of your of the club. Um, so this is the view that the uh, base camp manager will see that they will find your name somewhere, and then they will approve your um, your level. So member can now 
And this part is where also doesn't have, it, it's not tied into the base camp where the vice president education can register your completion of a level in TI website. That will stay the same. So it doesn't matter if the um, vice president education of Firebirds Collective approved your level. If you decide to give your other club the DCP point, even though that VPE didn't approve your um, last level, they can register your level at TI for the DCP um, point for that particular club. That is what um, Oladale was trying to say just now. And uh, so the, the level has to be submitted in um, this camp. Okie doke. We have now two to three minutes um, questions for this part. Anyone has a question? Roberto. We cannot hear you clearly. Roberto is in a train following us now. Uh, okay, I don't know if you are able to type it in, Roberto. Otherwise, you can always um, uh, send me an email and ask me. Any other question? Because I didn't, did anyone hear Roberto's um, um, question? Because I didn't. Okay. Does anyone else? Oh, yeah, Matilde? I did not hear it. I have another question. Okay, go ahead. You you said that there are always two passes free, or is this only for online clubs? No, oh, I said that two passes free only if you have two clubs, then the pathway arrives to you. When the, you... the pathway arrives to you at some, uh, let's say in Europe, for example, if you are in two European clubs, or two German clubs in the district, you get two parts. I don't know what will happen for all the onlineers who have two or three clubs, if we will give, give, get free pass again or not. That was the background of my question. We will not get again, but we can try. Okay. Samir thinks that we will get some, so we will see. Okay. Thank you. We cannot hear you, Fabiola. Was your ans your question answered? Yes? Okay, great. Yes, I'm also wondering if uh, we will get a third one. <laughs> yes, this, Oladale. Ju just to respond to that question, during one of our trainings, can you all hear me? Can, can you all hear me? Uh, very low, but um, continue. Just to respond to that question, whether there is an opportunity to get as many as three months for free. During one of our trainings with the world headquarters, the weekly training for ambassadors and guides for pathways, it was mentioned that the maximum that world headquarters can give you for free are two parts. So if you belong to as many as three clubs, four clubs, the maximum you can get for free are two parts. Yeah. Two. Yes, yes, two, Julie. Yes, two. You can't get yeah, more that, than two free parts. Yeah, that, that's true. But um, um, I was wondering because the... Um, when Julie, Julie mentioned within a district. So that, that was my, um, you know, uh, I know about the two because if you are a member of more than three clubs, indeed, it will stay two, that, that is um, clear. But because it is in another district, I was wondering what will happen. So, but I know it, indeed it is to, to maximum two. Um, any other question? 
is the base camp manager the PPE or someone else can play this role for the club? The base camp manager, all of us are in base camp. But the manager for clubs are the vice president education, the president, and the secretary. Any three of them can manage or approve levels of um, uh, projects completed or level completion for members in whichever club they are. So, for instance, if you are in um, dynamic club in where, wherever and you did your speech in Fibers Collective, I, as Vice President Education, because I'm also the base camp manager, can approve your, um, your level. The Vice President membership cannot do that. The Vice President PR cannot do that. Only the three of them. But what we do have now, if we are going to register that level with TI for the DCP point, as is now, any one of the seven club executives can register at TI, not at the club level um, uh, base camp, but at TI, any one of the um, club executives can register your um, awards at TI. So that, that is the difference. For base camp, only the three um, executives, but for TI, all the ones that has been able to do it up to now. Any other question? Wow, so clear. <laughs> For the panelists, do you have any other um, uh, points that you would like to add that we have missed that people might need to know in order for them to be very comfortable to find their paths to be on 15th of May? Yes, Christian. Uh, there's one item that I think it, uh, it was touched on by a couple of uh, the questions. Uh, it's with regards to the evaluation forms that uh, a speaker should send to the evaluator. Um, at times, uh, we have helpful evaluators who they, they will try to look for the evaluation forms themselves. Uh, it's always good to refer to evaluation resources under your pathways. You have the five blocks. Uh, one of them is evaluations. If you click on that, you have all the different evaluation forms that will be used by the current 10 path. So you can just go there and find the one that helps you. A uh, good thing to note is they are in PDF, PDF format that you can fill in and save and send to the speaker. Or the speaker can just download it. If um, I'm, I'm commuting, my laptop is not with me, I just have my smartphone, I download it and I send it to my evaluator. Yeah. which I've done before. Yes. So it really helps. And um, I really encourage everyone to uh, get hold of the evaluation before um, the, the meeting so you have a better view and a better understanding how to evaluate the members' project. Evaluations are personal, but with the new setup of the pathways, I find that it guides you as an evaluator to better give feedback on specific things for the member to improve on, or also to let the member know which part did work very well so they can continue to work on. I read today Mathilde's um, experience of fi finalizing her CC again. It's not her first, but she did say something. She said, this one is special because I took one, I think it was one um, um, topic, and she did, I think, all of her um, um, 10 projects with that topic, if I'm not mistaken, or most of it. And each time she improved on something. And I think that is inspired by also the, the way that the um, evaluations in Pathways are now set up, that it gives you as an evaluator, but also as a speaker to 
look at things that you know before that you would skip because the evaluations were so at times very um, generic so that is very good for you to pay attention to the new way of um, evaluating Julie yes I have to add that you do not have to upload evaluation in the base camp Yes. Because if you upload them, it is only you will see them anyway. So I believe that the beginning that I have to put it there so the VP can see it. Yeah. I prove it. It is not true. No one can see than you. It is only for you. You can as well save it in your folder in computer or in Google um, documents or wherever you save your files uh, instead of uploading it. And another thing, if you upload it, you have to change the name because if you get a second pass, it will be the same name and you will not know which one which is because there is only one level one folder there for all the paths that's true indeed that's a good tip um, if you um to to add to it that it's only you you will use it in um especially when you are doing like the project two where you have to do the same speech um or if you want to and that's either the same evaluator or another evaluator evaluate the same speech then you will need for sure that evaluation for the second time around so if you are um that's where you say okay that is the use of me to up upload all my speeches so i have them oh in that corner to to access them easier and so it depends on you but Uploading them, it's not for anybody else to see it, it's only for your um, own um, use. And yes, that's exactly Roberto raised hand. Yes, Roberto, let me see if we can hear you now. Go ahead. In the previous system, it was very useful to read the, uh, the project before evaluating. How does it work with the new one? the same way um that's why i encouraged everyone when they're going to do their um oh you mean the whole project what i have found out now roberto and maybe um the others can um um say that also if that's correct um the objectives on the evaluation sheets if you send the correct one to the evaluator that will help them a lot um, versus what we are um, usually um, in our current manuals that we have to read the whole objectives of the whole manual to catch um, what the uh, what to evaluate the person on I have found that reading only the evaluation sheet objectives will help us to give a good evaluation um, on, on the project presented that moment um, Bruce has done this um, lately with um, the, the speech of Aladale, and I think Bruce, you only got um, the evaluation sheets, correct? Yes. So maybe, um, yeah, Matilda or um, Julie, Christian. Yes, go ahead, Christian. Um, there's something that is quite uh, uh, specific with the pathways evaluation sheet. Um, I heard about this when I was attending a workshop done by uh, the VP of uh, Railroads. Um, what she shared, and she and I, I, I believe she's right. If you look at the scores in uh, for each criterion under the evaluation sheet, uh, this we are supposed as evaluators to rate a speaker from on the scale of one to five. Like uh, one is um, challenge yourself, and five excels. And I've seen some of the evaluation forms I get uh, from as, as a speaker. And for some items, I get four and I get even five. And when I look at free, uh, I'm expecting free because free itself is, it says accomplished. <laughs> I believe I've accomplished at something. I'm not native English speaker. Uh, it's my third language. 
And I've gi- I'm given five in like six of the 10 items. I'm either wow or the other person doesn't know what they're doing. And <laughs> I, I, I believe we have to be very careful, especially since we're an advanced club. Um, why I joined an advanced club that five words is to get that growth that I don't get at a normal club. Uh, so when we evaluate, be aware that free, if you give the speaker free, wow, that's good enough. And if the speaker deserves a four or a five, give, but justify why. If you're giving less as well, justify why. And it's good to have that conversation, that chat with the speaker before and after the speech. Uh, that's very important. Very good point. Indeed, not just choose one um, figure, but really also give some comments that will help the um, speaker. Mathil. There is also a special field behind it where you can give some explanation for your score. And yeah. I find this is also very good. Above, in the top of the evaluation sheet, you can give more of, you can write more because the field behind these points is limited to special, yeah, they are limited. Yes, that's true. But you can always um, connect with the um, speaker and also, when we all are on pathways, you can always send an, an extra evaluation. Even if you're not the evaluator of the person, we, I encourage you to send um, you know, pointers to that person if you want to. You want and it, to. And, um, at an, as an advanced club, we need to help each other to better ourselves. Ruth? It, it's worth remembering that because it's a PDF document, if, if the if there's not enough space at any point in, on the evaluation sheet to write things out, I found sometimes I had to reword things to get, get it in. You can just insert a text field at the end of the document and, you know, some little indication or one or an asterisk or something go to that. So you can actually write as much as you like at oh. the end of an evaluation sheet. And I believe we should be doing that because some of those little fields next to the one, two, three, four, five are quite small and you can't yeah. really say much in, in those. Yeah. Okay. We will go um, to Julia. Julia can raise her hand first. Julie, Roberto, no? Roberto, Roberto has been raising his hand for a long time. No, she, um, he, he had, he had, um, he, he got it. Okay. All right. Um, Christian? Just spinning off from what Bruce said, um, I tend to write a lot of things for my speaker. And I had, I, I got this uh, experience where one speaker didn't want so much. Um, <laughs> that person only wanted in the, in the little thoughts. So um, the lesson here is ask the speaker, what do they want? Do they want yeah. only the ratings or you want as much as I can give? <laughs> That's what I wanted to share. Okay. Okay, just to make sure, um, Roberto, your question was answered, correct? Yes, thanks. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, um, and we came to, we are one hour, 30 minutes. Uh, we'll give Julie the last uh, part and then, um, yes, Julie, go ahead. No, Berti wanted to ask something. Ah, I didn't see that. Thank you, Julie. Berti. Uh, can I just uh, get cl a clarification once again whether uh, about the differences between using an online material or a manual that you can buy? What if, for example, what if someone doesn't have a printer and that person is a member of brick, a brick club that he or she has to attend? Is it better for that person to buy the manual? How do you do that? It is, I will tell you if you want, if you buy a printed manual, all the 27 choice are forbidden for you. You okay. get two or four which are decided by headquarters and that is the everything you get and no choice. So in any, any kind of club, a printed manual is not recommended. And the statistics say you that can print, you can print every project if you want, every level if you want, every path, and then you have a printed manual without paying for printed and choice. 
and the other thing is you can download um, your uh, you can download the project so you can read it on your tablet or your computer if you don't want to print it but um, the best thing is to um, order the online version versus the um, printed matter um, because your limitation that you have to choose and um, in a club especially brick and mortar um, if you have an online version you can always see if the vice president education can help you with a specific um, part that they uh, that you will be needing in print so and um, again also the printed version you don't get the uh, videos to look at and that is a pity so and it, the statistics say that um, despite uh, a lot of um, hesitation on pathways being an online um, activity up to now less than 10 percent i think has chosen to um, go for the printed um, material okay and with this i want to thank you for your time and thank you for being here and get all this information um, for me it's also and i think all of um, us as pathway guides and ambassador it helps us when we get all these questions to help us also to continue to serve and answer questions from um, those that we need to get the information to so this um, um, session is recorded so you can always go back and see uh, uh, and re listen to it and by this I will stop the recording <laughs>